With insurance, you can protect yourself, your family, your belongings, and probably even your goldfish from financial loss. But with so many types of personal insurance out there, have you ever wondered which insurance should you get? And if so, how much coverage do you even need? So in this video, we will be covering the six common types of insurance. What are they? What do they cover? And what are the recommended coverage that you need? Also, do join my Telegram group to discuss stocks and personal finance if you have not done so. The first type of personal insurance would be health insurance, or also known as the hospitalization and surgical insurance. This insurance helps to pay for the cost of your hospital stay, as well as any medical procedures or treatments that you receive. Did you know that in 2022, there were about 599,000 hospital admissions in Singapore? which is about 10% of the population. That's a lot of people, yeah? The good news is that by default, all Singaporeans already have a basic health insurance, and that is the MediShield Life, which is funded automatically through the CPF MediSafe account. It helps to pay for large hospital bills and selected costly outpatient treatments such as dialysis and chemotherapy for cancer. Though, this is just a basic insurance plan, because it is designed for subsidized treatment in public hospitals such as Singapore General Hospital, Ng Teng Fong General Hospital, and KKH. Meaning, this does not cover all of your medical expenses. For example, it does not cover vaccinations, maternity charges, and surgical interventions. That is why if you need more comprehensive coverage, you can extend your medical life coverage by buying an integrated shield plan or IP, which is offered by private insurance companies. IPs provide additional coverage for things like non-subsidized Class A or B1 wards. Or if you prefer shorter waiting times and more specialized doctors, there are also IPs that can cover private hospital stays. Take for example, for kidney dialysis, there's a claim limit of up to $1,100 per month under MediShield Life. As you can see, the IP covers your kidney dialysis expenses as charged meaning it does not have a claim limit. Or in this example by Sydney, we are looking at a coronary artery bypass graft operation and a stay in a non-subsidized B1 ward. IP offer more comprehensive coverage than MediShield Life alone. Though it is also important to remember that IP plans are more expensive than MediShield Life. However, the good news is that you can use your MediSafe to pay for your IP premiums, but only up to a certain limit. After that, you have to pay the remainder in cash. The limit here is called the additional withdrawal limit, which is $300 per year for those aged 40 years and below, $600 per year for those aged 41 to 70 years old, and $900 per year for those aged 71 years and older. Then, as you get older, your IP premiums will increase because the risk of you needing medical treatment increases with age. For example, your medical life premium is $252 when you are 30 years old but it will increase to $1,029 when you reach 61 years old. Personally, I would get an IP plan that includes at least Class A or private hospital coverage. It is an investment in your health and well-being that can save you a lot of hospital bills and waiting in the long run. Also, take note that there are some recent changes to IPs for cancer coverage, which started from 1st April 2023 to slow the rising cost of cancer treatments in Singapore. Firstly, IPs now only cover cancer drugs on a government-approved list. Second, IPs will only pay up to 5 times the medical life claim limits for cancer treatment. This means the maximum coverage for cancer treatment under an IP will be $1,000 to $48,000 per month, depending on the drug use. So that was a quick summary of health insurance. The second type of insurance is critical illness insurance. For this, if there's a confirmed medical diagnosis of any serious diseases covered under the policy, you will receive a payout. Typically, CI insurance plans will cover 37 critical illnesses. For example, lung disease or liver failure must be at the end stage in order to qualify. Critical illness plans typically do not cover early stage illness because they fall outside of the Life Insurance Association's definition of a critical illness. And here is where the critical illness plans come in, as they help to cover early critical illnesses that are not covered by standard critical illness policy. For example, if you are diagnosed with early stage liver failure, you will be able to get your payout under the ECI plan. As for the coverage, the Life Insurance Association of Singapore recommends that you have a critical illness insurance coverage of 3.9 times your annual income. This amount is an estimate of your financial needs for a 5-year recovery period during which you are unable to work. 
However, your financial needs may also vary depending on your individual circumstances, such as household expenses for your family, outstanding debt payments, and lifestyle maintenance. Quick pause, did you know that besides Reboot's awesome sign-up rewards, it also has one of the most competitive pricing on the market. For the US market, they are only charging a very low fee of 0.025% of the trade amount with a minimum of just 50 cents. Same for the Hong Kong and China market, where they are charging a super low 0.02% to 0.03% with a minimum of $12. And if you are an US option trader, you'll be glad to know that Weibo is just charging 55 cents per contract with no minimum. Weibo also offers really good conversion rates for whenever you want to convert your currency. And last but not least, Weibo doesn't charge any platform fee, no maintenance fee, none of that nonsense. All of which lets you save more money when trading with Weibo. Also, if you sign up using my link down below, fund any amount while also subscribing at least 500 US dollars into Moneyboo and keep the money there for 30 days, you will win 25 free shares worth anywhere between 3 US dollars to 500 US dollars each. Besides that, there's also a money boot promotion where you can earn up to 3,000 US dollars by funding more and fulfilling the requirements. Reboot also launched a new transfer promo from which you could possibly get up to 2,000 US dollars worth of free shares or more by fulfilling the requirements. So if you are interested in trying out Reboot, do sign up to them using my link down below. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Moving on, life insurance. In short, life insurance helps to provide a financial safety net for your loved ones in the event of your death or total permanent disability. Total permanent disability or TBD typically refers to the inability to engage in any gainful employment permanently or the complete loss of functions of both eyes, two limbs or one eye and one limb. While life insurance may not be of direct benefit to you, it can be very helpful to your loved ones who will lose your financial support if you die. Touch wood, yeah. Life insurance can also be helpful if you become disabled in some ways as it can provide financial support for your living expenses. There are three types of life insurance, term life, whole life, and investment linked products or IRP in short. Term life insurance is the simplest and most affordable type of life insurance. It provides coverage for a specific period of time, typically until you reach age 65 or if you die during the term of the policy. If you die during the term of the policy, your beneficiary will receive a death benefit. However, term life insurance has no cash value, so there is no money back if you outlive your policy. Whole life insurance is a type of life policy that aims to provide lifelong coverage and has a savings component. This means that a portion of each premium that you pay goes into a cash value account, which grows over time. You can do a full or partial withdrawal from the cash value account, but take note that the cash value will not be as favorable and doing so may reduce your death benefit. While whole life insurance is more expensive than term life insurance, it can be a good option for people who prefer lifelong coverage and a savings component. It's also suitable for people who can comfortably afford the premiums and wish to leave behind an inheritance for their family. Lastly, investment linked policies or IRPs are hybrid products that combine life insurance coverage with investment products. They allow policyholders to invest in a variety of assets, such as bonds and mutual funds. While IRPs can offer the potential for higher returns than traditional life insurance policies, there are also a lot more fees involved. So which type of life insurance should you get? In short, if you are looking for affordable coverage for a specific period of time, you can go for the term life insurance. If you want lifelong coverage and a savings component, whole life insurance may be a better choice. And if you want to combine savings and investments and is okay with all the fees involved, you can consider going for IRP. According to the Life Insurance Association of Singapore, Singaporeans need an average of 9 times their annual income to be sufficiently protected. This means if you earn 5k a month, you should approximately have 540k in life insurance coverage. This can help to cover your estimated living expenses during your recovery period in the event of total permanent disability or critical illness. It can also help to provide financial support to your loved ones if you unexpectedly pass away. Moving on, the fourth type of insurance is personal accident insurance that can provide a financial payout in the event of your accidental death, disability or injury. However, there are some exclusions to coverage, 
such as war and acts of God. Your occupation is a key factor in choosing the right personal accident insurance plan. For example, if you are an office worker and is the sole provider for your family, you may want to consider plans that offer a weekly income benefit and a child support benefit to protect your loved ones financially in the event of an accident. On the other hand, retirees who are at higher risk of slips and falls should look for plans that provide coverage well past 65 and offer post-accident recovery benefits such as home modifications and mobility aid coverage. Here's a tip. Instead of purchasing a separate personal accident policy, it may be more cost-effective to attach a personal accident benefits as a rider to your life insurance policy. Next, disability income insurance is a type of insurance that replaces your income if you are unable to work due to a disability. Different disability insurance policies will have different definitions of disability. Some policies will pay benefits if you are unable to perform the duties of your own occupation, while others will only pay if you are unable to perform any job suitable for your education and experience. According to an estimation done by Sidney, it is recommended that you aim for a disability income payout of at least 3k per month to match your salary. If you are the sole breadwinner for your family, you may want to consider getting disability insurance as it provides a financial safety net in the event you become unable to work and earn an income due to a disability. Again, this can help to protect your family's financial future and ensure that they can maintain their standard of living. Next, CareShield Life is a national long-term care insurance scheme that provides a basic level of financial support to Singaporeans who become severely disabled. It is funded by MediSafe contributions and premiums are kept at affordable levels. All Singaporeans born in 1980 or after are automatically enrolled into CareShield Life at age 30, regardless of their health status. Singaporeans born in 1979 or earlier can choose to opt in to CareShield Life. According to MOH, one in two healthy Singaporeans age 65 could develop severe disability in their lifetime and may need long-term care. For this, Cash You Life provides a monthly payout to policyholders who are unable to perform at least three out of six activities of daily living, such as washing, dressing, feeding, and so on. Cash You Life payouts start at $637 per month in 2023 and increase over time until we turn 67 or start receiving payouts. Thereafter, the payouts may last up to our lifetime but remain fixed. However, take note that while there's a lifelong payout, the payouts alone may not provide enough coverage for all your needs. That's why when planning for your life insurance, it's important to consider cash you life alongside your other insurance policies to ensure that you have the financial protection that you need in the event of a severe disability. Phew, that was a long list of all the common types of insurance. Okay, here are my thoughts. Insurance is an important part of financial planning as it can provide financial protection in the event of unexpected events, such as accidents and illnesses. It can also help to cover the cost of medical care. But given that there are many different types of insurance available, it is important to choose the ones that are right for your individual needs. You will also need to regularly review your insurance needs to make sure that you have the right amount of coverage. As your life circumstances change, your insurance needs may also change. For example, if you get married, have children, or buy a home, you may need to increase your coverage. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you found it useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.